hi, I'm Paul Babb, uh, President and CEO of Maxon the Americas. Uh, we're here at SIGGRAPH 2015. Uh, we've got a great lineup of artists. What we're showing is uh, some amazing work done by artists with our product Cinema 4D. Uh, and they're showing work from film, broadcast, uh, live performances, special effects, or even motion graphics. And we're streaming those presentations live as well. So people who cannot come to the show can watch the presentations on c4dlive.com. And if they don't get a chance to see them during the show, we will edit them and put them on Cineversity, our website, cineversity.com, where they can go watch those presentations after the show. Uh, we are also doing a lot of work to caption those videos in as many languages as we possibly can. So hopefully we'll get those uh, captured in Spanish pretty quickly. We just announced release 17 last week. Uh, Highlight features would be the new take system, which doesn't just offer render layers, but also offers uh, the ability for artists to create iterations of project files within the project file. Um, within that also is the token system, which allows you to render takes out uh, all at the same time, and it will take care of all the, the uh, file naming for you, as well as the folders that you want those, uh, the parts of the project when they render go into. We've also got new spline drawing tools, there's uh, integration with uh, Houdini Engine, uh, a new import for SketchUp models. Um, there's a new uh, uh, distortion uh, profiles for uh, motion tracker. So if you're shooting with GoPro, we've now got a way of, of removing the lens distortion so you can have better 3D tracking. And there's some new uh, improvements to the sculpting tools, including animated sculpt layers. So you can animate your, basically animate your sculpting.